Peace, 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 peace. What's going on, y'all? My name is Substantial, and uh, right now we are live from HQ. Here with my man T. Lucas. He posted up. So where here you go? There you go. Creep in, son. We masked up. You know what I'm saying? Looking like we come through. Looking like we just finished painting. You know what I'm saying? That's why the walls are beautiful, you know. But yeah, man, we will. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of music for y'all today. And I'm about to jump into these instrumentals first. Going to play some beats. And then uh, T going to come up here, rock out, and uh, all that good stuff. Hold up. You need that. Go ahead. Say something to the people. Hey, man. Peace. We got a dope show for y'all. Get ready. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's get it. Let's get these beats. 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 Y'all do me a favor. Let me know how I sound in the comments. All right. Thanks again for y'all tuning in. That first instrumental that y'all just heard, that was a, a remix that I did for the homie Matthew Shell. If you don't know who Matthew Shell is, he's the guitarist who played on my track, MLK Dream Big. You know what I mean? And um, that's him on guitar. Uh, amazing producer, man. Definitely check that track out. It's called On Solid Ground. That's uh, available on Spotify, man. On Solid Ground, substantial lo-fi remix, all right? This joint right here, this instrumental I produce, this is going to be on my, my next solo record um, called The Dalton. Right. And we're going to get into a couple of live songs for y'all in a few minutes. But for now, just vibe to the beats for a few. And we'll see you soon.
real quick. Thanks again for tuning in. Just wanted to uh, remind y'all that this is a free show. And so y'all can just sit back and enjoy. But feel free to donate if you'd like to. There are links that are in the description. Also across the bottom of the screen. The cash app was PayPal, Venmo, all that good stuff. Um, there was even an event, a uh, bright link, where you could donate as much as you like. Um, but again, this is a free show. No pressure. We're just letting you know. Um, also, make sure you check out Dirty Sneakers uh, Deluxe Edition, which got the instrumentals um, from the project, like the one you're hearing right now, which are available on Bandcamp, all right? And make sure y'all uh, share that link. If you haven't shared the link yet, please do so. You know, this is earlier than uh, the normal shows and stuff. It's a lot going on in the world, so, you know what I mean? Like, between the game and everything else happening, there's another event that's going on in here in this space, so we're trying to make sure we social distance and uh, give folks their space and be out of their way. But yeah, man, we're appreciative uh, that y'all took the time to tune in. Definitely um, hang in there. We got a few more tracks before my man T. Lucas come on and uh, we start doing our thing. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. That track that you just heard, that is from uh, Recompositions. That's um, the sequel to In My Daughter's Eyes. And this track right here is super dirty, super just just filthy, V. Just the grimiest, you know what I mean? But this is an unpolished joint. It's a new joint uh, that's still going to get tweaked a little bit. But uh, yeah, enjoy
shout out to my nephew Wealth. You know what I mean? This is uh, from the uh, Bridges uh, EP that I produced. Shout out to Wealth, uh, you know, from the DMV, but out there in Houston doing his thing. All right, peace to him and his beautiful family, all that good stuff, man. I hope y'all enjoying the beats. We're about to start rocking in a couple minutes. Got like, I think maybe, uh, got like one more joint, maybe? One more instrumental? Uh, it's an unreleased joint. The joint I produced for the homie Javier Stock, so that's about to come on. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. I hope you uh, enjoying the track. Half of these instrumentals are already uh, available and been released. As always, I'm going to update the, uh, the playlist um, that's on Spotify so you can check that out. This one right here, this one has been unreleased. Um, I don't think I put it on Patreon yet, so if y'all feeling it, let me know. I'll throw it on Patreon um, by tomorrow or before the uh, weekend is out. And that'll be uh, this month's um, uh, instrumental, but definitely uh, enjoy this joint, all right? Let me know what you think. And thank you, Natasha. I'm glad you're feeling the head. Appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Look, everybody quarantined up. I'm just, man, I'm like, look, you know, let it grow. Be free. Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, show some love to my brother T. Lucas. What up, what up, y'all? Peace, peace. Keep on pushing, you know God's the greatest. Don't know how much more of this that I can take in. I know, I know, I know, I know it's getting complicated. I know, I know, I know, I know you're trying hard to make it. Just keep on pushing, keep on pushing. You know God's the greatest. But Lord, I don't know how much more of this that I can take in. Mm -hmm. I'm pouring out my soul. Out here trying to get known. Everybody want to go platinum, but I'm just trying to get to my goals. See my goals in my mouth, so I speak it to existence. Goals in my mouth, so I speak it to existence. Last year was a tough one, waiting here for the sun to come. I'm climbing up to that tippy top. I guess that's where I'm going to jump from. Steady trying to be me, but everybody want to be someone. Posted up on Venice Beach with my senorita and my young ones. It's amazing, I'm phasing, I'm patiently waiting for the situation to change and go crazy when the beat bang on your radio station. They don't wanna hear it though. They don't wanna hear me though. They don't wanna see a nigga grow. 
but I'm trying to see a check. Sitting on a nigga neck, bigger than a motherfucking Figaro. Whoa, look at the clarity. I've been seeing through a mirror, seeing shit embarrass me. Everything is similarity. Just like a parody, I'ma take off and leave from this earth. I can see what I'm worth. Prophecy ain't no stopping me. I'm like Socrates on each verse. Coincide, I'ma go inside. I'ma slow it down to an older time when I chose to rhyme this soul of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Cause I get better with time and instead of just crying, I'm pouring out my soul. Remix, get known. Everybody wanna go platinum, but I'm just trying to get to my goal. See my goals on my mouth, so I speak it to existence. Goals in my mouth, so I speak it. Look, this year is a tough one to confront. Ain't nothing left to run from. Where I come from, ain't nobody sitting around waiting on a trust fund. So I go and get it, no permission. I'm so ambitious, puff puff. Like I'm Diddy on the come up, but keep the goals in my mouth like I'm Young Buck. But this shit just keep on escaping me Feeling so wild and so flagrantly I don't know how they taking me I need a vacancy I know I'm built for this shit Just don't know what they'll make of me I got it from A to Z, baby I'm trying to get paid in full So I'm taking my town by my head Say my grace on this play the food We all play the fool Use your mind, that's the greatest tool Cause I'm trying to see racks on racks on racks on racks like I'm playing pool, so I take the cues, never break the rules. Working hard every day, never take a snooze. Cause I pay my dues, never play to lose. In my favorite shoes, and my pace is smooth. As I lay a view on the scenery, peacefully smoking my greenery. I remember no one believed in me. Now they just openly greeting me. I need a second to breathe. I just been stressing for weeks. Lord, put your blessings on me to be what I'm destined to be. I'm pouring out my soul, out here trying to get known. Everybody wanna go platinum, but I'm just trying to get to my goals, see my goals in, in my, my mouth, so I speak it to exist. See my goals in my mouth, so I speak it to exist. Yeah. This year is a mofo, still quarantine at the dojo. Oh. Kicking rhymes and chopping beats, putting final tweaks on my solo. So got shit to say, got bills to pay, got kids to raise, they distance learning, mm -hmm. got canceled tours and gig delays. Won't quit the day, we distance earning, mm -hmm. that's passive income. Had to get some peace to DL for passive wisdom. I'm black and then some. I smash the system, slaughtering black lives. I'm mad yeah, as shit. So we fund the causes. Shopping black on stolen land, trying to buy, buy it back. back. Started with something, was down to nothing. Won't stop till the passport was started. That I want it all back with interest. Four for barely pinches. Run it back, yo. Can't hold it back. I chose to rap and put my soul in every sentence. I work from home when I got home from work. Stacking time with rhymes, putting microphones to work independently, lyrically. Hanging with the best, singing with my chest like the shit was on my shirt. In my zone for sure. Most damn mother on, on the, the earth. earth. And my flow's berserk. Chilling in my own lane and I got it on cruise. Only really got to move when I want to merge. I'm the I'm the and the answer. And I'm tall, dark, and handsome. And I know my worst. Scared go to church. Out here until I'm bit on the curb. And I'm going like skirt. I'm, I'm pouring out my soul. My soul. Out here trying to get known. Known. Everybody wanna go platinum. But, but I'm, I'm just, just trying to get, get to my goals. See, see my goals in my mouth, so I speak it to exist. See my goals in my mouth, so I speak it to exist. Yeah. Uh. Welcome to Dirty Sneakers Deluxe Live. Yes, indeed. Me and Substantial. Hey, go to T Lucas 301 at Bandcamp. Yeah and check out the Dirty Sneakers whole lineup. Relays, the original, mm -hmm. and go to Stan's band camp to check out Deluxe and the instrumentals. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You feeling good? Yeah, man. I'm feeling great, baby. I feel like we should jump into another remix. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me adjust something real quick. Okay. What up, Substantial? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What we gonna do with this one, man? Go. When I'm near this mic here, recite fear yeah. Time to depart the moment I arrive, arrive here. here Some took a stab and their slabs on my spear yeah. Unworthy of my throne, they couldn't handle the high yeah. chair Spit a dart that zip past the right ear That's fair warning, I never fight fear for, for my, my share I'm epic, come 
this light beer. I'm everywhere. God said, let it be light there. Follow order, I'm hopping border across the water. I'm the sort of performer that kill it out on the corner. All the festival stays, don't engage, it's a slaughter. Cypher's my arcade, I lead the game out of order. All my daughters, DDTM before I tag you in. Not a rap god, a devil, bro, I'm just a rap mutant. Your rap spewing, I'm rap snooting. Sir Isaac on the shoulder of giants looking past the horizon. Back off this black off the smack talker. This dope faded more people than a black barber. All you know is to be professional chat offers. I'm never known for entertaining the whack aura. I got a tea crosser, tea saucer. Searching for a bigger fish to fry, I eat orca. New classic in the works, get your pre orders. Cause the change gonna come like a ski quarters. How's that for a money shot? Get a napkin. I quit when the money stops, still rapping. Arctic when the black is hot, I'm cool as Aspen. Hot spit. When the music knock, boom, bapping. Uh, back when the shit wasn't cool to do. Lunchroom spazzing, we look like some fools to you. Happened to slew a crew with two. Now a couple passport stamps later, dummy the fool is who? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. How we gonna do this? Ready, bro? The M to uh, the way I'm flipping these words is so perpendicular. First, I just rip them. You could just tell I'm a verbal hitler. Every single shot I'm bursting, I'm killing the listener. Reverse a simple church go and turn them to Harry Krishnas. When I pause, ain't no intermission, no flaws in this vintage spitting, no condom, go raw in the Simmons sisters, I'm missing a few screws loose, I'm about to twist them, go in the lab, hang up a sign that says no, no visitors. visitors, on another plane of existence where you wish, wish you was. was, on a different dimension, I'm holding lyrical prisoners, tied with extension cords, when I plug it, it'll sizzle your unoriginal manuscripts, I rip and get rid of you, use the same flame that's in Hades to light my swishes up, same flame I used to torch you and light the Olympics up, none of my predecessors even interest us, we interest from burning up all the bridges, Missile in your militia. This is an intervention of slitting their wrists with suicidal intentions. intentions and too much value prescriptions. I'm on a mission. mission. Computer virus to all the widgets. Seancing with witches and rooms painted with hieroglyphics. Let, Let me just switch it. it. Three point shots without the assistance. I'm gifted. Same reason the Grinch is pissed at Christmas. Had a baby with Crystal. She didn't go the distance. Risking it all, hoping this shit just fall in position like a meteor from space that hits in the wrong place. Displacing water in places that basically raise the, the rivers, rivers up. up. Give it, it up. up. I'm cutting their faces. Like Edward Scissors and turn them around to look at disgracefulness in the mirror like 10. Dr. Gavorkians yeah, mixed with some Jack the Rippers. Seven serial killers eating Hannibal dinners. Understand it was a storm? Now I'm planning a blizzard with a smidge of the Jay Z mixed with Wu Tang and RZA. This exquisite, I'm carving out my name and inscripting it in a mic to leave the game as the best that it ever did. Say, Say what? what? Shout yeah. out to the homie John Lane. Everybody say DMV. 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 The DMV. This for the DMV. The DMV. Forestville, Cap Heights. C Pleasant. Landover. DJ RBI on the cuts. Fort Wash. Temple Hills. Uh huh. Coming to you live, substantial. Yeah. Stay on our ground all the time. Live. Fair my Heights. Suitland. Suitland. Land Can't over. forget about Suitland. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Speaking District of which, Heights. we coming to you live from Creative Suitland. Shout out to those good folks. But uh, I think it's time for the title track. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. If you like Dirty that hoodie, sneakers. y'all can order that. You Run know what I mean? Do your thing, bro. Let's go. Dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. The raw shit I'm traveling to 52 states with dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. The pages I pen with the pain from the pavement. Dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. Be patient but take risks. All I gotta say is just dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. Be hanging from the power lines. Aerodynamical flow with a panoramic glow Trying to wash my sins clean with some janitor soap Go back and forth like a palindrome I managed to cope Working a nine to five, even my manager's broke How shall I survive without handling dope? Orchestrated and pull the strings like a mandolin note All I ever wanted was to be branded the GOAT and get a couple of Grammys so my granny would know Instead I wake up on the floor of this basement Roaches crawling adjacent Now that's what I call a motivation Why I'm still in this bitch And I ain't make it out yet Why I ain't got no drip And no latest outfit Nine shots near my window A neighbor got hit Another war memorial 
The rain droplets is pouring on the sidewalk. A bum hustle change for new ports, then he slide off. Ratchet chick use the kids as a tax write off. For 24 hour stores that never take a night off. Pepco cut the lights off. I paint a picture over your heads. Michelangelo for every ounce of blood that was shed on white canvas snow, dirty sneakers, and filthy shoelaces. The raw shit I'm traveling to 52 states with dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. The pages I pen with the pain from the pavement, dirty sneakers. Sneakers and filthy shoelaces. Be patient, but take risks. All I gotta say is just dirty sneakers and filthy shoelaces. Be hanging from the power lines, dangling. Dang, dang, yeah, dang, I'll change it up on y'all for a second. Hey, that joint, man. The moment he spit uh, the hook on that dirty sneakers joint, basically, I, I hit him up. I was like, yo, that's that's the title. We didn't even have the title for the EP yet, but I knew that was it when we heard it. And so back in the flash, my man T. Lucas. Breakfast in bed, a couple texts I ain't read. I'm on a money making mission, getting next to that bread. Like the jelly weather, summer rent is sweaty. When a coat up in my scully, I'll be right there when the homies call me just like Machiavelli. A hey. top notch on the front page, <laughs> blazing. Feeling like a young Jay about to rock a nation. nation. Call me up, hit my phone, what's the conversation? Young Ooh, nigga, get, get paid. paid. I'm dipping and flipping it, and I'm switching positions in. I keep it super tight, tuned up like Michelin. He can't go this long, he ain't got the conditioning. You talking way too much, why don't you shut up and listen in. Danger, danger, danger. From Des Moines down to Decatur, this is major player. She popping, locking, stopping, dropping like a hot potato. The lights are gleaming, bells is whistling like slots in Vegas. Hop up in the scalp that we can chop it later. Uh, five, five stars, stars enjoy, enjoy your stay. stay. Black man, get your bag. Now we, we got, got it, man. Hey, hey, king shit, live it up the day. A king need a queen, I ain't come, come to play. Come to play. Hey. Five stars, enjoy, enjoy your stay. stay. Black man, get your bag, now we got it, man. Hey, can't shit, live it up today. We done come a long way, fam, I gotta hey, say. Hey, 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 head is spinning from waves in 17 different ways. I'm thinking about a plan, it's just very sophisticated. See, we out of the hood, I'm glad that the nigga made it. Take the end of my blunt and I kindly incinerate it. I'm going to November, should be hard to remember. Eating sushi for breakfast, used, used to, to be ramen, ramen for dinner. dinner. I'm acting bougie on X's, can't even call, call me whenever. Whatever. Now it's penthouse sweet, stay is the longer the better. Hey, hey it's cool. Great view, bathroom, raw blue, skin tight, she nice, get right, fall through. through. It's a party any day, any time that you want, want to. to. We stepping in the name of love, I'm just doing my one-two. One, two, and three-fours, three, we balling just like D-Rose. Keep it our little secret, just as long as she, she knows. knows. Made it to a hero, hero, all the way from zero. Just keep the towel below to cover up the we smoke. Here we go. Five, Five stars, enjoy, enjoy your stay. Black man, get your bag, now we got it, man. Hey, king shit, live, live it up today. Live it up, y'all. A queen need uh -huh. a king, I ain't come to play. Come to play. Five, Five stars, stars enjoy, enjoy your stay. stay. Black man, get your bag. Now we got it, man. We got it, man. Hey. King shit, live it up today. We done come a long way, way fam. Man. I gotta say, come a long way. Five, Five stars, enjoy, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Black man, get your bag. Now we got, got it, man. Hey. Hey. Queen shit, living up the day. Yo, a king need a queen, I ain't come to play. Five star, enjoy your stay. Black man, get your bag, now we got it, man. King shit, living up the day. We done come a long way, fam, I gotta say. Hey, hey, so uh, this joint right here, wish Steph was here to rock it with us. But uh, don't worry, you still gonna hear a piece of Steph. Stephanie Gale, if y'all on hip. You need to go uh, get you some Stephanie Gale in your life. Her music's amazing. This is one of my favorite joints. That you really cared about. This song is Ooh. for you. Shout out, Steph. My heart's frigid, cold outside. Minus two degrees, a warm fireplace. Eating crackers with some Gouda cheese. Thinking about memories of a fonder time. Played it on rewind. Soon as you palmed your wine, I said I loved you. But right now, I'm on the grind. Can't afford to pay you attention, cause it costs too high. Peach from an orchard, sweet lullaby. My black orchid, beautiful pictures we painted inside a cracked portrait. Can't explain the melodies of her exact softness Similar to Egyptian flutes played in Rolls Royces We had the time of our lives and I made some poor choices And now your heart remains closed like unboiled oysters Thirsty for your love, I ain't left the kitchen in days Your perfume lingers like Sade singing of pain Bringing the rain to a sunny day Forget all of the money, babe It's just me and you, now let's just run away This is meant to be hey, And you're the one that's meant for me 
that through the ups and downs, when no one comes around, then maybe this is meant to be. Sit for me, baby. But if this is meant to fail, I have to become a living hand. Yo, shout out to Steph. You know I can't do what you do, so I'm gonna shut up now and let my man get back to it. The more love we made, the more lazy. Plan to paint a narrative of our lives, vivid as Scorsese. Taking trips to Cozumel, the waters of Haiti. Everything was all swell till you wanted a baby. My appetite was too lustful, hard to adjust to. Wanted a piece of the pound, wanted a crust too. Time to you to live a lie, but still wanted to trust you. Found out yesterday that one of the homies had crushed you. Damn. The pain on my brain remains insane. I'm playing 808s and heartbreaks for days upon days. I've been living in a dark place, but I never cave. Too much pride, I'd rather go blind like Etta James. Now I'm just sipping my whiskey and doubles. Like old timers trying to soak up my troubles. We used to take pictures in public as lovers. And now I'm just an insignificant other. Arms and downs when no one comes around and baby this is it for me. This is meant to fail. Our heaven becomes a living hell. Living hell. Love stuff. This bridge though. Wishing well. Michelle was talking about your R&B hands. I, I missed it. You yeah, he was giving them the R&B hands a second ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> if this is it, if you at home right now, if you're the one, you get two step in place, whatever, you know what I mean, do what you do, you know what I mean? Like I said, if you lost someone, you know, if you're going through depression, divorce, or just feeling sad, you know, this song's for you, I wish you well. Shout out to Malik Hunter on the bass, Dirty Sneakers out now. Definitely, at T Lucas 301 on Bandcamp and on social media, check out my man Substantial, IamSubstantial.com. You talking like we done though, son? We ain't done, son. Oh no? Nah? Okay, I'm sorry. They done messed around and gave know what us saying? Like five more minutes. Know what I'm saying? It's much more than five minutes left, buddy. And y'all make sure y'all stick around after the joint, cause we doing a Q and A to talk about the project and more. T. Lucas, what you got for him? Chasing. Chasing, chasing after my dreams. dreams Been through so many states and so, so many places wins. That's what it seems. seems If you knew what I've been through Just, just to get the little, little that, that I've achieved, achieved. I've outlasted them, surpassed Let's go, them. My gas is supreme since 93 Staring at the ocean waves I reminisce back thinking about the older days When we was kids, first time that we approached the stage Had it lit, you, me, Chris, also Ace Had a full house giving them the poker face Had a drive on me similar to Road, road Rage. Rage On I-95 hitting four, four states. states Out in Philly, out in Baltimore to Morgan, Morgan State. State Had to pay my taxes state Staying active, they relaxing, laying back, I'm slaying tracks, the main attraction, way, 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 way back when I ain't even have a bed, I just laid on a mattress, shit. No, I'd rather be laying on a beach, but instead I'm in a studio for weeks, weeks. and I want to get the meal, so I'm still dream chasing like me, cause I've been running, chasing, running, chasing, after my dreams, been through so many places, so many states, well, that's what it seems, seems. if you knew what I've been through, just to get the little that, that I've achieved. achieved, I've outlasted them, surpassed them, yeah. my gas is supreme since 93, taking the back to suit la high, where we met and no one better than the crew, but I, like a header, it was do or die. They could never uproot the guy, so I rose. rose. But I'm no Derek Jalen, dribbling the rhyme, trying to make a statement. Statement. Little West Room, no parents' basement. basement. Hunger in our eyes, damn near impatient. impatient. Knew he was desperate for dick names. Apparently, people would stare at me like I'm so, so lost. lost. Now I see some people would never see long way from Chevrolet, ready to touch, touch stars. stars. Is it because I'm sick with the flow? Talk cleverly, so the Jeopardy, now I'm my own boss. boss. Is it gonna affect my crash it? <laughs> Better be more of those hey, ahead of me. Hey, Future is hey, all I've ours. I've been running, chasing, running, chasing, chasing after my dreams. dreams. 
been through so many states and so, so many, many places. places. That's what it seems. If you knew what I've been through, just to get the, the little, little that, that I've achieved, I've outlasted them, surpassed them. My gas is supreme. Cause I've been running, running chasing, chasing, running, chasing. chasing. After my dreams, been through so, so many places, so many states. Well, that's what it seems. If you knew what I've been through, just to get the little that I've achieved, I've outlasted them, surpassed them. My gas is supreme since '93. Yeah, that's a tribute to back in the day when we met. You know, know what I'm saying? saying? Remember the lunchroom? Yes. I know you remember All the, the ciphers. All the ciphers. This guy. All the ciphers. We're going to talk about all of that after these joints. You owe, but me, I think you you owe got, me a battle. I, I do. I do. I don't know. How, look, I'm struggling with lines nowadays. I, 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 all these beats smoke, I'm making. You know what I mean? But look, <laughs> on, on a serious note, man, today, you know, with everything going on in the country and in the world, man, um, 45 got us messed up out here. You know what I'm saying? And um. We all need to stand up to it. This is my response. Remix. They saying stop all the rides. We saying not nah, cause we tired. See man, these cops want our lives. And we dropping like flies. Fool me, I spot your disguise. You just a op in my eyes. This ain't no shock and surprise. We just been dropping like flies. Hopping out the sergeant wanna frisk me. Pop a shot at Grace and barely miss me. This been going on since 1860. Don't know if I'm free. Maybe Willie Lynch me. Kamikaze treat me like a Nazi. I can't breathe. I'm dying while they taking pictures like the paparazzi of a lifeless body. Said I had a shot. He calling for my mommy. This is America, ain't it? This is the picture you painted. This is George Floyd on the pavement. Wife heard the news and she fainted. Feel like we running for our lives just, just like a mod. mod. No justice, no peace. I put, put that, that on God. God. Minnesota, Minneapolis, they started trashing it. Looked just like Compton or Watts. What? War is necessary, so is the protest. Destructive force we act when lacking of progress. Keep the money in our own community. How the hell did we spend more, but we own oh, less. less? Call the soldiers, but they cannot hold us. A chip on our shoulders and as big as boulders. Man, where was the nation? Where's the Oprah's? When they slay us, they pray for atonement. So we just breaking their windows, taking their sofas. Fuck the whole system. We taking this over. Black Lives Matter in these streets. And so the mayor of D.C. told him, paint that all over it. Philly to Atlanta, Texas, and why? Even overseas, check it online. Never respect us. They just say comply. Keep their foot on our necks and expect us to die. They saying stop all the rides. We saying nah, cause we tired. See, man, these cops want our lives. And we dropping like flies. Fool me, I spot your disguise. You just a op in my eyes. This ain't no shock and surprise. Dropping like flies. Freddie Gray and Mike Brown was very different. All they seeing is the same color. So they blame brothers, put us on the ground and choke us out. But they can't take the pain, pain from us. us. Look at Trey's mother or Brianna's father. At Philando Castile, I'm a do the yellow. What these racist cops is gonna do, do tomorrow. tomorrow? They kill Martin Luther, that's the king, king of, of sorrow. sorrow. He stood up for human rights. But instead of black and white, it's against red and bluish lights. Snatching college kids our cars to cruise at night. Step to me, I show, show you, you what, what this movement, movement like. You can never ever. Get up on my level, make a record hotter, hotter than, than the devil. devil. The world, I'm fucking Miss America. America. Right in front of Donald Trump while he's staring up. up. Getting scary, huh? huh? Try to bury us. us. Now they gotta put up all the barriers. Areas. Close the windows in all of the areas. areas. Start the riots, man. We, we about, about to, to tear, tear it, it up. up. This is reparations. Exclamation. This is how we intend to address Trust the nation. Peaceful protesters trapped in the basements got shot with tear gas and they shut down a metro, metro station. station. How do you call this democracy? Houseway. Man, I just call it hypocrisy. Uh huh. I just which Nipsey and Pocket see. Man, how was the cop trying to cop a plea? After he racially targeted me. me. I guess that it, it is, is what it gotta be. be. We burning it down, down we burning, burning it down. down. No way to stop it. This is prophecy. They saying stop all the rides. We saying not cause we tired. See man, these cops want our lives. And we dropping like flies. Fool me, I spot your disguise. You just op in my eyes. This ain't no shock or surprise. We just been dropping like flies. They saying stop all the rides. We saying now nah, cause we tired. See man, these cops want our lives. That's you. And we dropping like flies. Fool me, I spot your disguise. You just a op in my eyes. This ain't no shock or surprise. We just been dropping like flies. Damn. One fist up in the air for black power, y'all. We gotta get it together. Trump saying, stand down and stand by. We standing up and ready to go. That's how we going. Uh-oh. 
So T about to go through his back catalog, get y'all some stuff y'all don't know. This right here is one of my favorite joints that he's you ever like this done. Oh, this, is, this is my joint. You already See? know. You know See? what I'm saying? With it's brown little, liquor music. With a little bit of sour, there got to be some sweet to it. Yes. This sweet and sour, y'all. I'm slide out of here. Do your thing. By our... Shout out to Ava Hovanka, too. I love you for this. It's a timeless song, man. I couldn't have done it without you. Day by day, hour by hour. It's a sweet and sour. Okay. All right. This dress piled on thicker than nylon. I live in the violons, hotter than fire alarms. I try hard, but at times my mind's gone. How will I pay the bills now that my second child's born? Now I can go on like so on and so on. When I get home, my girl always putting the show on. She think I keep her secret. I just tell her, roll on and please stop sweating me. I've been working so long, but now it's time to make moves. Put on my suede shoes, feeling so fly in the sky. I need a space suit. I'm so grateful, trying to make a breakthrough. Record that'll make your face sour like a grapefruit. And I can get it if I wish in the stars like stars. All bright starlight, wonder where you are. Tight bar after bar, no strife, no scar. My life shine bright like the lights on your car. And uh, day by day, hour by hour. I can't sing, but shout out to Ava Hovanka. Come on. Don't mean a thing if it ain't got the go go swing. Well, anyway, I remember just sipping here to say I'm broke, I'm in my crib, and I know that for sure my rent be late. My landlord's knocking at the door, I'm asking, can he wait? Money that I owe, the line's longer than the NBA. Self-esteem's crushed with my self-esteem. Got yourselves a weed, I'm where the smoke is like kerosene. I need a charity and nobody was hearing me. No recipe to make the cake, no Sara Lee. That was the days when I ain't even have a jacket. Now miraculous, it's fabulous. The sun is on my glasses and it's cool. Pina Colada and some daiquiris. Remember, they deserted me. Treat me like some cactuses, but now nah, I'm about to take it there. I'm hotter than Jamaica, yeah. How they gonna beat me at this game? I ain't playing fair. I made my bones, now I finally get a break in here. Young Shakespeare focused on my paper trail. I'm gone. R.I.P. to the godfather of Go Go Chuck Brown. Giving us this great musical off form. Cause it don't mean a thing if it ain't got the go-go swing. Also, shout out to the originators of go-go as well. Hucker Bucks, Trouble Funk, Essence, you know. Back, Jump, Northeast. Yeah, man, keeping that DMV stuff alive. You know what it is, you know the vibes. All right. Now who fresh off work? Check my car, check my swag, check my coat when they put it on the rack. Checking her heels, shorty not bad. Friday night, my check just got cash. Hey, fresh off work, put your hands in the air if you're fresh off work. Hey, fresh off work, everybody say yeah if you're fresh off work. Look. Fuck my boss, dog. I mean that. Only reason I come in this bitch for the greenbacks. Like a Xerox copy? Man, I see the facts. He relaxed. I'm breaking my back like medieval racks. Now that's torture. Yell in my face like his name's Sergeant Slaughter. If she in this club tonight, I'm probably with your daughter. But I don't make it rain trick. I ain't Travis Porter. I'm just trying to order my drink on ice. See the disco lights? I'm on grown man status. No fish on price. If it's all right, I loosen my tie. We can just dance, dance. She get loose off my ties. Now her mind blown, will she need a ride home? No, she wanna roll like a Blackberry side scroll On five Red Bulls, your boy got stamina Fresh off work, got dressed for the camera Check my car, check my swag Check my coat when they put it on the rack Checking her heels, shorty not bad Friday night, my check just got cash Fresh off work, hey, hey Fresh off work, put your hands in the air if you're fresh off work Everybody say yeah if you're fresh off work Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. And more clean than when the janitor wiped the floor. Smoke weed, maybe we can light the raw, but don't test me. I studied the night before. Huh. Pop Yang not rocking the chain. So we did like the numbers in the stock and exchange. Then the bartender poured a couple shots and they came. I'm on skybox status. Yep, on top of my game. Huh. 
OG not, I'm on G-O Cause she don't wanna stop, and he was too slow Beep beep, tryna move, now I got it cracking I'm on that back end, rush hour traffic Had a hell of a day, tryna make this a heavenly night Are you the angel I prayed, would come back to my place? Alright cool, let's skate, but then I lost my wallet And I just got paid, I had to check my car Check my swag, come on When they put it on the rack If y'all fresh off work, man, I know y'all partying out there Throw your hands up. Come on, come on. If you're fresh off work, put your hands in the air. If you're fresh off work, everybody say yeah. Fresh off work, everybody say yeah. If you're fresh off work, check my car, check my swag, check my coat when they put it on the rack. Checking her heels, short and not bad. Friday night, my check just got cash. <laughs> Fresh off work, yeah. Everybody, if you're fresh off work, throw your hands in the air. If you're fresh off work, everybody out there, if you're fresh off work, ha <laughs> ha. It's the last one right here. About to give y'all something. Some turbo drive. Where we at? You got me? Get them on their job for I take them back to school. I'ma make them like a fool when I break a rack of rules. I be burning up the studio. They taping up the booth like a fucking tornado. I be taking off the roof and the car be passed. I'm waving y'all a deuce. I'm the truth. 100 freaking 81 proof. Get the news. You want to hang, nigga? Who's you? Tom Cruise. Simply the mission is impossible for you dudes. Just a bust. Hand on the clutch. I'm moving so fast. Turn the planet to dust. In the land of the lust. It's so scandalous. In the vandals we trust. So just sandy it up. For the can in the bus. Can in the bus? Roll that shit. Dog hand me the blunt. With the family want me to damage you. Punk 16 so hot like I planned it for months. T-E-S-T drive GS3. When shorty give me brain slide. Like ESP, wanna rock a whole nation, I don't need Jay-Z. These corny ass rappers sound like ABC. I'll take them back to math class, yeah, give me half that. Maybe even start speaking Spanish on your black ass to it. Spitchy mighty corn talking that cat cat. Whole oh, fucking album on fire. Backdraft, shoulda left the track. Last bonds over Baghdad. Going more long than a war in Iraq. Last city, every state, every town on the Atlas. Google T. Lucas. Don't forget the backslash. Crisscross niggas with a fadeaway jump shot. Lead the technique like I really do unlock. When he let it go, probably never to the sun stop. In the meantime, I'ma shine, get your sun blocked. Yeah, and now, my man, the man with the plan, Substan, peace. Yo, show y'all love for T. Lucas, man. Killed it. Gotta let you know where we from, though. Yo, don't get it twisted, young. In Maryland. Yo, I'ma represent for y'all regardless where the path for more lead me. Uh-huh. Yeah, Pops was from Baltimore, but his only son was born in PG. My dumb man in Douglas. Name a better rapper from MD that does this. Spare time, murk him low key with a spare rhyme. Old lines, ish, I came up with it, oh nine. No line back in Suitland in the 90s. And someone else's hood, bag of rappers, you find me whipping ass, taking names for this rap. Ish, from school. I was either chasing dreams or chasing ass after school. Ditch class, wings of mumbo sauce. During high times, cooking beats at Ace Old Crib. Playing 9 5 live from the home of Martin and Sugar Ray. I'm a shine for every unknown that took a straight in Maryland. Come on. Still put the in between the DV. Yeah, yeah. So I'ma represent for y'all regardless where the path of more lead me. Uh-huh, yeah. Cause Pops was from Baltimore, but his only son was. Listen. PG specifically, County might be rich, but we all struggle mentally. Trying to see the imagery placed here to limit me, killing me. Black and brown, young is on a killing spree. The way I dodge bullets, you would thought I had Trinity and Zion's best fighters all guarding my divinity. Had a rack of brothers, only one that was kidding me. Saved my life when they gave the might and depended me. But I'm from the same damn state as Freddie Gray. Different city, but our death could be one ride away. In the home of Frank Miller and Dark Knights, thought it was. Nah, you thought right. I'm from Maryland. Yeah, don't get it twisted, dog. Hey, shout out to Joe D. Odyssey on the beat. And I'ma represent for y'all regardless where the path for more lead me. Listen, cause Pops was from Baltimore, but his own son was on the PG. Yo, only Prince we claim sang Purple Rain. Prince George was lame, so F him in his name. I'm a PG king, it's a PG thing. This for Godzilla joke. So keep up, up Harvard, my Baltimore team. That's my man J Soul and the young homie Green. Listen, damn, my friends are dope, yeah, we really rap. Fans been losing hope, I'ma bring it back. Cause Stan has been dope since Pity Pack. Kickball, jump, rope, and hot, and go get it, black. Think I hog off for weeks just to get a track. 
the hand of God, some weak shit. Picture that. Phelps with a felt tip, Olympian flow. Provide more dope lines than Bolivian coat. The rant on the baseline. Carmelo in the Kia Strife, ripping the roof. And then to fill the dreams and I'm woke in the land of third good As mama taught my papa now I'm out here in your hood Somewhere in Maryland For y'all who don't catch that last line where I say His mama taught my papa now I'm out here in your hood Third good Marshall's mother was a school teacher And actually used to teach my father And my father used to talk about that all the time Because of what third good Marshall uh, meant to this country You know what I mean? So yeah man Fun fact, fun fact Alright, let's go Hope y'all feeling good. Listen. Uh huh. Got something to say? They can kill us all, but they try. Justice for all been a lie. Yeah, fighting to live, and I'm raw till I die. Freedom is all in the mind. Listen. Yo. Ain't shit but what I been saying They tell us pray but we been praying They tell us vote but we been voting They tell us march but we been marching Y'all talking change but you been talking Get it cracking let's make it happen today These bammers black in progress so get them out of the way 400 years ago how long are we supposed to wait Giving y'all solutions to problems we ain't create All these black lives matter dog Whether we on the stage in the streets Millionaires or making minimum wage Gave your trance made you dance do more than just entertain This world ain't shit without us I know you know what I'm saying <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying Yeah, uh I'm just saying what I've been saying You know what I'm saying They can't kill us all though they try Justice for all been a lie Fighting to live and I'm raw till I die Freedom is all in the mind Black father, black artist with a black business. Married to a black woman raising black children. Black, black teachers sharing black thoughts. Shout out the black boot, black root, these black bars. Feel the safe, but they don't guarantee my safety. Trying to rewrite history before they ask to race me. Love me when I'm rapping, I ask for action, they hate me. Maybe they hating because we're everything that they can't be. Tell me, where's the love for us? Dirty cops on the hunt for us. School system is comes to us. They might just say it's just for us. School system ain't helping much. Hopefully they're fucking up. You're one of us. Black women originated every one of us. Van Glorious, protected by RBG. Look past the me, your mind manifested to see the real me. But really, this moment feel different, I hope it stick But I'm just saying what I've been saying on songs you skip I'm just saying Listen <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying what I've been saying You know what I'm saying? They can't kill us all though they try Justice for all been a lie Yeah, fighting to live and I'm broad till I die Freedom is all in the mind Blackity black rapidity brass finger man. This is brought to you by a black dude named Stan. <laughs> and I'm just saying, yeah, freedom is all in the mind. Freedom for the people today. Freedom for the people today. Whole family was holding down on that joint. Kids, mom, um, their mama. You know what I'm saying? Whole squad. Had them all in the studio. You know what I mean? We was, we was working it out. Yeah. In my rear view, fast living and fast women that I went through. Like underwear and dirty linens I get here to. Ways of a plague I want to be pimping break. Curfews and heart split them like partitions. I know. So cold. Taught to never love them but we act like hoes. See, I chose to grow. But if I stay the same with more records be sold. Hmm. They love it when you don't love them and abuse them Like when you fuck them and dump them, it's just abusing Sick to me, you get more publicity when you're cooner But question your authenticity when your judgment is proved it. Bullshit, I'm past that Just watching how they bend and run quicker than half ass Y'all will make your ass clap for a check from ass cap to your ass cap Never meet dog, can't have that There is Turn it back today, yeah Never backwards, forward we go We go, we go, we go, Hey. Never backwards, forward we go, we go, we go, we go, we go. Shout out to the other guys, never backwards, forward we go. One time for New Jabesh. Yeah, my friend, 
is sadly long gone. I wish we could make some more songs or hit the town and break bread for kicks. I'm here missing you instead, watching these clowns bite your sound and use your image. Meanwhile, they barely gave you your props when you were living. I doubt your family getting a check. It got me livid, mispronounce your name and act like they do what you intended. This isn't the authentic, it's meant for the hypocritical who this the dude who's been for you since the very beginning. And though I bond fracture, but still saw after. They want more classics, I want more laughter. And I can't help with this unreleased material. Since your so-called fans think my solo work is trivial, unless it's me and you, but where's the honoring that when most of it was subpar or we thought it was whack they probably be overjoyed if a part of the tracks you didn't finish and distribute them all over the map that's what they hoping but i'll never fuck you over like that i forever honor your memory but there's no turning back you know never backwards forward we go we go we go we go we go never backwards forward we go we go we go we go we go Never backwards, forward we go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Hey, thank y'all so much for watching. You know what I mean? We're about to wrap up the performance part. But if you got a little bit of time, stick around. Me and the homie, we're going to chop it up with you for a few minutes. Do this quick Q&A. We appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all to the folks who did make donations. Remember, this is a free show, but we appreciate the donations and all that good stuff, all the tips and all of that. T, grab a seat, son. Let's stop this joint. All right. Let's see, we're going to adjust some things. Sorry for the camera real quick. See how you looking? Bong, bong, you probably scoot up a little bit. Grab your, uh, grab your mic. Do our Don Cornelius join. Ah, uh, yes. T. Lucas. <laughs> ah, T. Welcome, welcome, welcome uh, to Soul Train. Um, so <laughs> Man, hey, so let me uh, let me turn this joint so we can see any of the questions, man. Uh, yo, thank y'all, man, so much for watching. Um, let's see. I mean, we got we got a lot of folks up in this joint, man. Uh, we appreciate all of y'all for watching. Again, it was a free show, but you can donate if you like. Um, uh, there are links for Cash App, um, Venmo, uh, Eventbrite, um, PayPal, and you can do the uh, what's it called? You can um, do the super chat as well. Um, it's not mandatory. I just you know I know if I don't tell you, then no one will know to do it. So I'm just letting you know. But thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. I hope you enjoyed it. So, yo, let's get into it, man. Um, me and this brother have um, a very long um, history. Hey, do me a favor. Scoot over a little bit because I'm going to scoot in. So we can balance the shot a little bit that way. A little bit. Yeah, boom. And I think we might be good. Hold up. You want to see how that frame look? That looked like a photo. Yeah, there we go. Bow. Work on, we'll work on our posture. You know what I'm saying? Try to make our mamas proud. Uh, yes. Where were we? So, yeah, man. So me and this brother go back, man, a very long time. Um, and that's kind of how this whole project came together. Uh, yeah. So le I guess let's start by talking about um, how we reconnected. You know what I mean? Because I remember you reached out um, after uh, seeing some of the stuff that we were doing with substantial art and music with the company. Um, yeah. And so then uh, and we had started um, working on some things to help you um, with uh, promoting your video and just strategy in general. Right. Oh yeah, true. And then true. I met up with this guy. He didn't even. I didn't expect him to be down at AT and T. I hadn't seen him in a grip. Yeah, it had been a minute. I was chilling with Godzilla, I believe, mm -hmm. and they told me that you was down. So we said, hey, we should all come up to the um, come up to the hotel room. We had a portable studio and all of that. Yeah. And then we just got it mixing and got it cracking. And um, since then, we didn't necessarily relink, but mm -hmm. that's the first time we kind of just tapped back in and was right. Like, oh, yeah. And from there, man, it was kind of like history. And then, like you said, I checked you later. Right. Seeing if you were good in my company. Mm -hmm. Put some advice on it. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Seeing it and things of that nature. And then um, we took it from there. Yeah. And that, that A3C joint was, uh, that whole situation was crazy because um, um, I know you had bumped into Godzilla, who I had actually came down there with. Mm -hmm. 
And that whole story of getting to A3C, if you've ever gone to A3C and you've had to drive through South Carolina, bro, yeah. Like, yo, in terms of them, like, you know, profiling and pulling folks over, like, for that joint. And so they pulled us over at, like, 5 o'clock in the morning, man. Had us side of the road, um, pulled everything. They had the K-9 unit out that joint, held us up for, like, an hour plus just on the side of the road. It was cold. Yeah, it was bad. So, and, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Then my man, he got arrested down there, just on the strength. Like it was a while. It was a whole yeah. Wild situation. That whole situation is. Was, got arrested. And I'm just out there, like, come on, what the hell is going on? I think yeah. he, he had the call. It was his call, but I had the call. And he got arrested, so it was just a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, man. Nah, it it was definitely. It was definitely a wild situation, and it was it was one of them things where it's just like, yo, like you know that, I mean, you don't see that much police activity like that time of night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like cops just like, but yo, they were out there in droves because it's like they knew that this festival was going on, so they were trying to catch people in route. And so I'm just happy that like, cause yo, that whole situation pan out different. We might not be sitting here right now. You know what I mean? Keep it a buck. Yeah. Based on history, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Based on history, so yeah, that was a dice roll in itself. But um, but everything panned out, man. And I think um, we got down there in the initial day. I recorded something with Godzilla in the studio, um, uh, in the hotel room, which I turned into a studio. And then um, and then we linked. And the verse that y'all know from uh, the New Balance, um, live from the DMV. T actually recorded it in the closet <laughs> that that we turned into a studio in A3C a couple years ago. Um, and then I rewrote my verse like two, three times because he bodied it. And, yeah, I mean, I did rewrite the verse. I recorded one. Yeah, I wrote one joint while we were down there. Um, I recorded a rough, and then I re-recorded it when I got back home. Yeah, it was a beat by Joe D. Shout out okay. to Joe D. Okay. Joe D is a uh, um, unofficial. Well, no, he's the like he's the apostrophe in Godzilla. That's the way apostrophe in Godzilla. I love that line. And he's also the brother who I sample on um, Made in Maryland. Yeah, shout out to Joe D, man. But um, but yeah, so that song, um, you know, that song we originally called it live from A3C, and then later it became the New Balance live from the DMV. You know what I mean? But yeah, if y'all got questions, throw them in the chat. Yeah. Um, yes, and thank you for the compliment on the hoodie. If you like the uh, the hoodie and you liked his shirt, you can get the the shirt or hoodie um, through his Bandcamp, uh, T Luke is three hundred one dot Bandcamp dot com, or you can go to subartandmusic.com. dot com. Yeah, you know I mean, and you can get that merch, 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 and make sure, man, y'all are on Bandcamp today because it's Bandcamp Friday, which means if you buy anything on Bandcamp today, 100 percent of the proceeds go to artists, with the exception of the little PayPal fee that come out. So this is a great time to support independent artists. We are still in a pandemic. A lot of us are, are not able to tour, um, and not able to go to professional studios and stuff. So that merch is very important. Yes, it is. If you like the music, support. You know, like my man Sam said a donation it's not a must but you know what i'm saying it's greatly appreciated if you like the music and you want to see us continue to keep doing what we're doing and bring y'all that good music that gets y'all through y'all days and nights heartaches uh, breakups you know to, that you can enjoy during a happy day then you know support an artist man but thanks for the heads up in the chat too because uh, i just realized they were hearing you through my mic so it was coming through oh, low because really? it was check, still check. yeah i fixed it though we good now everything okay. should give me a thumbs up in the chat you know what I mean? Kels just called us the OGs. You know what I mean? All this wisdom. I got a lot more wisdom in my beard than he does. I you cut know what I'm my saying? wisdom off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I you know can look. What I mean? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. But yo, so what was it? So I guess this is a great time to talk about um was it? I mean, talk a little bit more about the project so we can go through like let's go through track by track, right? So Okay. Open this on my soul. So how did that come about? All right, my soul. Um, I was looking at my sneakers and my soul was separating from my sneaker, and I said, "My soul." But now, it's really, real. it's 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 basically just it's kind of like that. It's the substance of what makes you right, your soul, and so it's the substance of a sneaker. That's why I wanted to put a play on the word. But it's really just me pouring out my soul, man. Everything that 
that done happened to me. And ironically, as I'm rapping my raps today in this current time with coronavirus and, you know, social racism, all of that, you know, when I say this year is a tough one to come front, ain't nothing left to run from. You know what I'm saying? It, it's so relevant. So that's what I wanted and was hoping that the song would be. And I think that it served that purpose and it came out like that. It, it's bearing my soul. Definitely. And it's crazy because that, that second verse on the original version that you did, um, like you said, where it says this year is a rough one, that was recorded um, a while ago. Like it was yeah. like top of the year, right? Like, yeah. It was, yeah. So like this, it before was before all this happened. Before the pandemic. So it was a tough one already, right? And then like it just just got crazy and just became more and more relevant. Yeah, um, R.I.P. everybody, people forget, man. Like, yeah. R.I.P. Pop Smoke, who passed away earlier mm-hmm. this year. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A a, a, a legend, a, um, a, a, a stand-up guy, you know? Mm-hmm. And, R.I.P. And, and very accomplished, um, you know, R.I.P. Yeah, uh, Breonna Taylor, Ma Aubrey, uh, you know, um, was it, it just so many, yo. Freddie uh, Gray. Yeah. Freddie uh, Gray, it? definitely. Um, just, you, you know, we lost... It's it's been crazy, man. Like, um, you know, I'm trying to keep it together because a lot of times when I talk about this stuff, like, I get really, really irritated about the stuff we're dealing with. Like, it's it's hard enough dealing with the pandemic, but to think that in the midst of all of this, like, people just still can't chill, right? Still can't let go of their ignorance. Still hateful. Still, it's just like, yo, you ain't got enough to worry about, uh, you know, uh, already. You know what I mean? In terms of losing Floyd and like so many others, man, that we lost this year, like whether it was to um, violence or um, to this virus or just unexpectedly, um, you know, RIP to my my aunt Rebecca and so many others, man. Um, But yeah, yo, like uh, when we did the so the fun fact about that song is the remix beat was the original beat. And then I did another variation of the beat, which ended up being the first. So we we were back and forth, like trying. He was like, "Yeah, I don't know. I like the original." I was like, "Ah, I kind of feel I like, like the, the remix." Yeah, can, can we right. get a, a a poll in the comments? Right, which one y'all like more? And he's talking about the beat. Right. He's talking I, about the beat. You know what I mean? Beat, we're talking beat. about the beat. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Beat. Which which beat? The remix or right. the original? Yeah, and so and when we were about to put the um the the remix out, which is really the original, original. version. Um, I told him, I was like, yo, I feel like I want to get a verse on this joint. You know what I mean? <laughs> Especially yeah. because the yeah. second, his second verse, the way he starts it, where he says this year is a rough one. You know what I mean? Like, or a tough one. Um, you know, I was like, yeah, let me write something to just kind of drive that home even more. Like, kind of take piggyback off that to kind of drive that point home. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, and put some of the things that happened this year, this year. Um, post like uh, all of that stuff going on, and uh, yeah, man, it was a lot of fun. So let's see questions? what they're saying. It says uh, the true ugliness of the nation, and people are coming out more than ever. Real, it's yeah. real. Um, it said with the pressure of everything outside, it seems easy to squeeze the worst in people um, up to the surface. That's real. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was always in people. It's just coming out now. You yeah, know, and it's for a, real. it's like a conversation. Me and you was having stand right before you know. We did the um, we did the performance and everything. It's like there's a lot of powerful forces going on right now, you know, for good and for bad. And it seemed like the bad is winning. I I akin it to like Star Wars when Yoda got beat by um Darth Sidious. You know what I'm saying? We we kind of like in that realm. And then he had to go into hiding. And then ain't nothing pop off again until Lucas Luke Skywalker <laughs> Luke Skywalker <laughs> until Luke Skywalker came and defeated the Emperor. And Darth Vader. So we're just in a in a, a period of darkness right now. And we just got to, um, you know, hold fast, you know. We know what the enemy doing. He's right. standing down but standing by. It's crazy. How you, you the president, you saying this. Hey, look, right. racist people, stand down but stand by. Right. What is right. we talking about? So, right. yeah, that's that's where we at right now. Crazy. But what's, yeah. what's the next one? What's the next one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, real quick, though, uh... Mo- the the consensus is everyone saying they like both. They being real PC they right like now. PC. Everybody saying PC. yeah, they, they. But I like both. You know what I mean? It's cool. Well, it's like, well you know, we, we it was take dope that. beats on both sides. We, we, we <laughs> See love I did it. That, a little the little Trump joint. It was good. It was bad people on both sides. <laughs> right. Bad people on both. It was yeah. dope beats on both sides. On both versions. You know what I mean? 
Um, so the question we got was, after we get through all this COVID stuff, do y'all plan to do shows out of state together? And yeah, both versions were pretty dope. Eddie, man, that's a great question. I mean, yo, it really depends on how soon um, it is. And I mean, regardless, man, it's my man. So if there's opportunities that pop up where we both can kind of rock out um, and we are out of the pandemic and stuff, absolutely. Um, you know, just speaking for myself, he clearly he can speak for himself. But yeah, that's my thought. I don't know, man. This guy's kind of funny style. Yeah, like he be giving me five dollars out of the whole you know two thousand yeah. you know like i had to sleep yeah. on the floor at the last show so i don't know man but we, we hope so if we could work out the contracts you know what i'm saying now nah, we started <laughs> we started this year doing a show yeah we were supposed real. to be that was that was the plan on the the dirty sneakers run right yeah now. We, that was the plan supposed to be so this this live this um pre- presentation is just to kind of um uh, 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 kind of make up for what we could have been doing on so much of a greater platform. But also the good thing is that we probably are reaching a lot more people all at once due to the show is online and it's it's live. So you can stream it today. You can see it tomorrow, you know, a year from now. So it's it's cemented. Yeah, man. This is, um, you know, it's, it, it was crazy because as we were planning, I mean, we literally just finished um, – filming our video uh, for uh, the, New the New Balance, right? And we had a lot of other plans for the project. We had a, I think right before the lockdown started, we had a listening um, function that was supposed to be here that we had to cancel, uh, where like radio uh, folks were going to come through, local DJs, all of these different things. Yep. And so just, it changed a lot. It really did change a lot. Um, but that being said, I'm grateful for... Um, for how well received everything was, yes. like in spite of all that, um, yes. the New Balance did really well and was like charting on um, college radio, like around mm-hmm. the country, um, and was getting played globally. Um, got us a lot of burn. The video did well and saw like um, you know like thousands of, of uh, plays because of y'all, you know. Thank and you. and the EP is been, and, and both versions of the EP has been streaming really well, considering we haven't seen like a lot of press um, and like support. We have been getting love directly from the fans and that's been awesome, man. And I appreciate y'all because I know y'all know me for the rap and so the love y'all been showing like for the production and then showing love to this man, um, you know, has been dope. Thank you. Speaking of which, um, if you're on Spotify, I need y'all to do me a favor, right? Because, I mean, his numbers have been growing consistently since this joint has dropped, but we need some help because he's real close to passing passing that 100 followers threshold, and we trying like, to get him way past that. But let's get to this 100. We about, like, we less than 20 away. So if you have not followed T. Lucas on Spotify, please do that. Follow me on Spotify, T.L.U.C.A.S. Yeah. Yep, because you can check out these projects, but, of course, his back catalog is up there, and he got new music coming, which is fire. Um, like the, you know. like fresh off work, mm-hmm. that's in my back catalog. Sweet and sour back catalog. Right. That last joint I did is called Flash Gordon, the real fast rapidly rap joint. Right, all in my back ca- catalog. So um, you know I've been doing it. I'm gonna keep on doing it. Go check me out and please follow me on Spotify so I can get to them hundred followers. You know what I'm saying? And then get to, get to that milestone, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um. So next question. Uh. Shout out to Natasha. Natasha always shows Natasha, love. What up? Uh, she says, do you think BlurCon will happen next year? Um, Lucas, uh, uh, so, uh, wait a minute, just move. So you ever plan on attending BlurCon in the future? So Me. Um, yeah, she wants to know if you plan on attending BlurCon in the future, and Fuck then I'll answer. Yeah. <laughs> right. Fuck yeah. Best answer ever. Yeah. Going to BlurCon in the future? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yo, like, you know, it's... I can't really say for certain. Um, I am in contact with the folks from BlurCon, like, maybe, um, you know, once every uh, two weeks or so. Um, and, yeah, I don't I, I don't think anybody can say right now. Um, you know, folks are just trying to get past this election right now just to see if anything changes. Um, you know, which reminds me, I'm not the person to go out here and tell you who or what to vote for. Um, you know, I just feel like folks need to participate in the process. So let me go ahead and step on my soapbox real quick. Let me say something to you to help you understand something. Cause I see a lot of people, uh, posting online saying things about why voting doesn't matter and this, that, and the third. Now, mm. listen, there are mm. some things 
with that that are debatable, right? But there's one thing that is not debatable, and that's if if it did not matter, right? If voting did not matter, gerrymandering would not be a thing. People wouldn't be actively trying to keep you from voting. They would not make the process more difficult in certain states that clearly have a history of doing those type of things and um, and have a history of racial injustice and a long list of other things. And I'm not just talking about the president. I'm talking about you voting on um, different local laws, different, uh, different, um, you know, everything from your sheriff to different people. And there's a great website, county executives. There's a great website that I always recommend to folks, um, and I've recommended it on YouTube before, and it's called isidewith.org, right? And the reason why I don't go out of my way trying to pressure folks to vote for a particular candidate, because quite frankly, I'm a person who's voted independent in the past. I voted for, like, very, I was independent up until Obama ran. Like, I, I'm definitely not a person who was just, like, automatically siding with anybody. We had the conversation. When I see, when I see the whole Democrat Republican uh, thing. All I see is Crips and Bloods. That is gang shit, B. That's all it is. And I don't have allegiance to right. either one of these moments. You do what's right by me and mine, and then I can mess with you on that particular thing. But I already know. I'm like, both of them, one has done a bit more in recent history <laughs> to, to make things more difficult for people who look like me, clearly, right? But they throughout history, have had their issues. And so it's important that you educate yourself on this process, know what's going on, know that you're voting for more than just the president. You're voting for a lot of other things and understand that it's just as important, if not more important, to show up for these smaller elections. You know what I mean? So that way, if you get the president you want, you can actually get a team around him, um, get people in the Senate, get people in, the, uh, keep people in the House or whatever to help pass these laws that you would like to see passed to make our lives a bit better um, even for some of these people who don't realize some of these laws would make their life better, but they're following the, the propaganda and they, they lost a certain information, which reminds me also two movie recommendations. And then we get back to the project. I know I'm going off track. Um, there is yeah, wrap that shit up. B. Yeah. Wrap that shit up. B. Um, <laughs> there is a, um, a movie, uh, by, uh, Stacy, um, uh, Stacy Abrams, um, the woman who was running for governor in Georgia, um, who uh, basically they robbed her of the election down there. And there's a movie that talks about that. Um, that's on uh, it's on Prime, um, a Amazon Prime. The name is slipping my mind right now. If someone knows, put it in the comment, please, uh, comments, um, the chat, please. But check that out if you can find it. I know Janelle Monet did the song for the soundtrack for it, um, but it's a great movie that educate a documentary that educates you on the history of voting especially for african americans in this country that's number one and number two check out a movie called um the social dilemma on netflix which talks about um how social media has changed the world and also how it's affected our elections and why we're in this moment that we're in right now and how it's directly connected to how social media has been used great film Check it out. It's called The Social Dilemma. On that note, back to Dirty Sneakers. And, 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 if, and if that's too heavy for you, just go and watch all the seasons of Blackish, and you'll kind of get the same thing. Okay. Yo, <laughs> Blackish is quality. It's about to come back on, too. The first, uh, they, they're doing it animated because they're all not able to film. Oh. So they did an animated joint for the premiere. It comes out later this month. Yeah, it's, it later looks real dope. Month? Yeah. I'm watching it. Yeah, Black is a good show. You know what I mean? So, Dirty yeah. Sneakers. We yeah. talked about my soul. Let's talk about the new balance. We we kind of gave some of the backstory already. You know what I'm saying? He out here repping. You know what I'm balance. saying? I was slacking. You know what I mean? I, I wore my vans today. I got more I got more vans than a moving company, B. It's kind of <laughs> hard not to come out the house with vans on. But uh, but I do love New Balance, too. I'm a PG dude uh, slash DMV dude. So, you can't be from here and not love New Balance. They actually had a mambo sauce version of the New Balance joints. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I'm but gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go get them. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, go get them because I yeah. like. To if keep you can my, find them, them I like things to keep went my shoe quick. collection. Oh yeah, yeah, they went quick. Somebody selling them online. Somebody yeah, you already know. Them joints work. <laughs> you already you know, know. But um, while they got some, I know probably. But right. yeah, the New Balance. I right, um, so that what it really is is like the way I interpreted it, or what I meant is that the New Balance is. Pardon me. It's a new balance coming into, you know, into the fold with everything like we was talking about. There's a restructuring of the order of things as we know it. 
So what I meant was, you know, lyricism is coming back a little bit more rather than just the more trapped out shit. You know what I'm saying? It's lyricism. And in that song, we we push our pens to the limit with lyricism. You know, the beat is dope. The remix beat is dope. You know, so it's about lyricism. And it's live from the DMV because that's where we repping. You know, that's where we from. That's where we spent most of our lives. Uh, I, was in, I was originally born in, in New York and Brooklyn, but I've spent the majority of my life here. So I'm a DMV native. Um, and that's what we rapping, man. So yeah, yeah, I think you you summed it up perfect, man. It was new just balance. um, yeah, and and what I would say too, man. Like I feel like with this new generation of artists that's coming out, because a lot of people you will hear people make these generalizations talking about how like some of this newer music's trash. But like, yo, if you really are actively looking for the dope shit, it's not hard to find. Like, there's some amazing young spitters out here. YBN Corday. Oh, who's yeah. From who's here. just Corday now. He just goes by Corday now. He's just now. Corday, yeah. right. Yeah, Corday is from here. Um, that from, boy good. Yeah, used that to live in the Sutton good. area. He's super dope. Um, you know, like, I, I talk about Saba all the time. Saba is super dope. You Saba? Know? Yeah, Saba. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Most people know him from the Angels joint uh, off of... Um, Chance the Rappers joint. Mm. I got angels. That joint uh, that Chris, I mean, that uh, Chance the Rapper had. I, I heard the song before, yeah. but I ain't really. Yeah, he attention. was just on the chorus or whatever, but like, okay. yo, he's nasty. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he's real dope. He, um, I gotta check him out. Saba. Yeah, Saba's S-A-B-A. super dope. Um, yeah, S A B A. He's okay. super dope. Okay. He ain't, and like, and you know, and he been around for a minute. He ain't, so he technically ain't a newer artist, but there's plenty of young dudes who, who are like making amazing music mm-hmm. um, that got me rocking with them and supporting what they do. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm still a youngin, you know what I mean? So, um, and I mean, even some of the more commercial stuff that I heard that ain't really my cup of tea. There's plenty of joints where I heard and I was like, Hey young, these dudes are spitting right now. <laughs> like Yay. I don't love the content, but like, I'm not going to pretend like, you know, just because I don't like certain aspects of it that, that folks aren't bringing, bringing real uh, quality lyrics. You know what I mean? I tell you, like, it's just transformed. Yeah. Moneybag Yo song, Say Something. When he's using his ad libs to fill in a part of the verse. When he's like, huh? What you say? Who that? I thought a broke nigga said something. And it's like he's doing that on three different tracks. So it's like he's having a conversation with himself fluently. That's dope. So creativity is always going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And I think that. That's what really we need to pay attention to as the the elder statesman yeah, for sure. in in the game. You for know sure. what I'm saying? We need to we need to be able to uh, uh, have that keen eye to recognize when these young brothers are bringing something to the table that's not just oh that's just trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it's a lot of. And the challenge points. that I put out to everyone is for every because it's easy to talk about what you don't like. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's the easiest mm-hmm. thing to do. Um, and I remember I was just talking to my wife about this. I remember there was a point in time where Wayne was like really, really peaking. Right. Yeah. And like and you could not see the comment section on any video that I had that didn't say something like, yo, man, this is so much better than that little Wayne stuff. I'm like, bro, like, look, you ain't even got to throw shit. You can just like what you heard without yeah. throwing shade on something else because that's still promotion. Yeah. Right. Like it's still that's that's what keeps the stuff you don't like relevant, you know what I mean, is because ultimately people are talking about Still it. Still talking about and, it. Yeah, and then the stuff that you really like aren't, and you feel like not enough people are talking about it, if you like, if you aren't actively talking about it, and that's key, whenever we drop something, this is why we tell people turn notifications on, all of these different things, is because ultimately if the people who know us aren't talking about it, you can't expect people who don't know us to talk about it. So... I say that for all of you who like certain artists, man, make sure y'all are actively, if uh, if you really appreciate what they're doing, just actively support it. Not just us, but like anybody who you're proud of what they're doing um, and it means a lot to you. You need to need to be sharing that. And if you don't like people with different color hair who snitch on ex-gang members, then just don't listen to their music. Oh, the shade. <laughs> I'm just coming up with a solution. I mean, you know, I'm that's real. Driven. Yes, that that is a solution. <laughs> nah, that but is yeah, a solution. If, if you if you like it, I love it. You know, if right. you like it, go ahead and like it. But you don't need to throw any shade on anybody else. Just don't listen to it, or don't mention it, or don't even pay yeah. attention to it. Yeah, because as know? long as you're talking about it, you're giving it life. You know pay, what I mean? Pay, paying attention is a um, you know, w- what is that? It's a 
it's it's a high price for that currency. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. you pay a high price when you pay attention to something. That's real. It that's occupies real. space in your mind. So just don't even pay attention. You'll be cool. Yeah, that's real. I um what was it? Someone said I bought New Balance after I heard you guys song months ago. You know what I mean? So shout out to Luis. Yo. Uh, sh- shout out to New Balance. Uh, Luis? go ahead, cut that check. Luis. We appreciate it. Yeah, you know man. What I mean? We need that endorsement deal. New Balance, New Balance. We did the video. We got the video. I got the whole New Balance outfit. Oh, come on, man. Right. <laughs> come on, man. Out here rapping. Um. So after that was the uh, the title track, Dirty yeah. Sneakers. Yeah. You know what I mean, and so tell us how that came about. So, um, that's how we sculpted the whole album. Like once that song got done, we kind of knew where the where the vision was gonna go. Um, and substantial he was the he was the genius behind that you know i did the song and ain't even really know what i had and he was like yo you can expound on that and then i was talking with my man navon smith about it and um shout, shout, out, to shout out to vaughn my mentor the good guy he um uh, uh congratulations on on y'all uh you know what i'm saying y'all situation y'all got going on you know what i'm talking about um but yeah Dirty sneakers is basically like you in the mud. You know how people like you get it from the mud. Mm-hmm. All right, so when you getting it from the mud, your sneakers going to get dirty. That's the closest thing to the streets. So that's the that that's what's going to get dirty when you're going through that mud and that struggle in order to get where you need to go. You got to get dirty. You got to get your hands dirty in order, you know what I'm saying, get where you need to go. And um, I figured I would make the song and talk about different, not just my struggles, but different aspects of the struggle. Like how I say, you know, working a nine to five, even my manager's broke. Like I be working at jobs and it's like, we all broke, even though he in a higher position than me, like we all broke, we all struggling. And that's what the premise of the whole album for real is, is the struggle and everything we going through. And, um, like we said, coincidentally, it dropped pretty much right when Corona hit. And so I think that's why I really resonated with people. Dirty sneakers is about the struggle. That you go through. Absolutely. Yeah, the moment, I mean, I said it when you were performing earlier. The moment I heard that chorus, I was like, yo, that's a title. I was like, that's the title of the project, bro. Like, um, and that beat, I'm, I'm sure if y'all uh, recognize um, the beat, uh, that means you more than likely heard the, my project, The Garden. Um, I remember because when I first sent it to T. Lucas, he was just like, yeah, I don't even know. Let me let me get back to you on that one because, you know, he's like, I want to make sure I come correct with it. It was hard. Man. That shit was hard. And I was like, whoa. Because mm-hmm. it was so dark and grimy. Yeah. But then it didn't have a typical beat like what I would rap on that's dark and grimy. Right. So I was like, how do you even approach that? You got to have substance with your darkness. And so I'm like, let me not just say anything on this track. I, I think I called you and I was like, yeah. yo, I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> you know what <laughs> right. I'm saying? Right. And then I went back mm-hmm. and then I was like, oh, shit, this is it. Dirty sneakers and filthy Dirty shoelaces. shoelaces. <laughs> My, <laughs> me, everybody uh, I played that He could have said anything after that. And I was just like, young, the moment he said that. I knew it. I was like, yo, that is the title. Before it even finished the whole Dirty Sneakers, Filthy Shoelaces, I was like, hey, young. <laughs> he could have said SpaghettiOs, <laughs> Yabba Dabba Doo. SpaghettiOs dropped on my Asics. Something. Right. <laughs> dog, he could have said anything, and it would have been, st- I'm like, still, that's that's the title. That's the title. Yeah, man, that's that joint. It's, uh of the like of the rap hooks on the joint that's definitely like that's the one you know what i mean that's um the stand down joint and can i can i say one one Do other it. thing too um i particularly like that song cuz i like doing long uh setup hooks to where they're repetitious but then i tell you a little piece and a little piece and a little piece and then it all connects so i like that storytelling long game uh long game chorus planning yeah. And I felt like it had that vibe and it and it captured the vibe. And shout out to your homie uh Jay the Fourth, uh, oh, who yeah. did his thing on that joint too. Jay the Fourth. Yeah, man. His, My nigga. <laughs> really, really uh like powerful verse, man. Very like very uh visual. It was it was real dope. I told you, Jada. That's all I'm gonna tell you. I right. told you. <laughs> Yeah, man, and um, and so next that brings us to Pennies. That's my my uh summertime uh spring slash you know ride with the top down. Even though I just got a sunroof, um, you know what I mean. But like, yeah, man, that joint, yeah. So talk about that joint. How you came uh came up with that? That's my Will Smith summertime. 
Yeah, <laughs> nice. That's, that's what I was trying to do there. Not really, but I feel like that's the feeling it captured. Mm-hmm. Is really carefree, um, you know, having fun. Um, and really the concept is, you know, making it from something to nothing. Pennies mm-hmm. to the penthouse. Um, initially, the uh, the song was supposed to be called Waldorf Astoria. Yeah. You know, that's when we mixed it up with a little bit of the, uh, with, with, with some masterful work by mm. you, Stan. Oh, appreciate it, man. Um, Thank you. He came in with a different chorus, and that chorus just took it like, pew, that joint was gone. I was like, and the funny thing it's is, here now. we were, uh, so we were talking about the hook. Um, like when I first heard it, I loved the verses and stuff and his flow on it. I wasn't convinced by the hook yet. Um, I talked to one of the other homies and without even telling him how I felt, that was the first thing he pointed out too. And I was just like, okay. Um, so then we had a conversation and then I was like, yo, let me holler at nephew. Um, uh, shout out to wealth. I was like, me holler at him. Wealth. Maybe we get him to take a stab at it. And he came with something that was cool, but, um, but it still wasn't it. Like, you know, we were, I was trying to get him to make some, some changes, and I, I feel like I might have sent it to you, but we, we nah, weren't. You ain't sent me oh, okay, all right. So yeah, I didn't. Um, so yeah, we like I wasn't convinced yet that that was it. So then I came up with the 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 hook that you now hear on the song, and I sent it. Uh, I sent it to Wealth, trying to get him to say it. Um, and um, and basically he was like, when he was trying to do it, it wasn't coming together the way he thought. Um, so he was like, yeah, I think you should just say it. And then that's how we ended up with the hook for um. Uh, four pennies, but um, yeah, man, yeah. Reference and, track became the hook, right? And the funny thing is too about the beat. So the story of the beat is that beat was actually for a song. I made it for a song that I did on my upcoming solo album that's going to drop next year called Adulting. Um, mm. and yeah. yo, and I made it for this other song, and like, and I like the beat. Like, I like the beat a lot, but um, but the misses. The Mrs. Yo, shout out to my toughest critic, uh, Mrs. Robinson. She is a savage. Like she, <laughs> she, like she love me, but she don't care about my feelings. <laughs> you too. know what I'm saying? Why, why that's, too, that's how you know they real. You know what I mean? Terry, I love you. You a savage. Yeah, straight savage. Just uh, like take your feelings and stomp <laughs> all over them. Yo, like my couch. Like, they did this yo, joint. couch, nigga. Uh, you your know, couch. In your rap song. And oh, so, my. yeah, man, so I played What'd it for. Say, she was like, she heard the beat, and she was just like, yo, I like the lyrics. I like the beat, but I don't think they work together. Like, she's like, I think you need another beat for that particular song. And the song is this joint that's on the album called Say Less. Um, like, and I've done it, like, I think on one of the other lives, so y'all can go back, check one of the other lives and you'll, you'll hear a preview of something that's going to be on a future project. And so she was just like, nah. And then I ended up making that other beat for Say Less, which is epic and fits way more. Say Less is not out yet? Nah, say less is now oh, yet. Nah, so I y'all just gave gotta go and cop adulting right now. <laughs> it's not even out. Y'all gotta copy because right. that song right there. I Good love look, that too. song. Yo, thanks, man. I love the chorus. It's really, you know, what I'm saying it's like, mm. if I'm not mistaken, it's one of those kind of drawn out choruses. Yeah. To where it's yeah. like you you explain yeah, it's why a, to say less. Right, right. It's like um, every post don't need a comment. Every pic don't need a like. Everyone don't need an audience, mm-hmm. and every open mouth don't need a mic. Say less. Ain't what you know, it's what you do. Let the work you put in be the proof. Say less. You ain't got to tell me that you real. In time, everything will be revealed. Real. Say less. Yeah. Say less. So, yeah, Say man. Say less. But, yeah, look, the, she she in the the uh, the chat talking smack right now. I love you. You know what I mean? Stop what? playing. I love you. Stop playing. <laughs> mean. Yeah, so, uh, hey, hey we, we, we both respect your opinion, Miss yeah, Robinson. Yeah, man, look. You had a lot of uh, super duper great ideas. Oh, yeah, she did. She did. For Yeah, she helped this project a lot, man. Like, Style-wise. Yeah. Stylist, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she had a lot of great input for the record. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but that's uh, the story of Pennies. And so, okay. which brings us to Wishing Well, Wishing which well. is another interesting story. But I'll let you is start. Uh, you, or you, or you, let me start this one. Yeah, so, you start this one. So let me tell you something. Let me tell you about this dude. <laughs> so when I made the beat, the moment I made this beat, I knew it was special because the, the second I uh, bounced it and was about to send them the email, the first thing I said to myself, I was like, hey, if this nigga don't use this beat, <laughs> I'm going to go in. Cause this beat, but I was like, yo, like I I knew I was like, man, he, cause there was nothing on the record like it. 
Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, yep. and it's it's like how do you create an overall vibe for a record where it's like everything is slight, like each beat is its own entity, but it sounds like it belongs together, together right? Yeah. And um, and that's a, a, a that's based like and that's conversations that I had a lot with Odyssey when I was um, working on my album with him, mm-hmm. and um, you know, like talking about how like different approaches to different beats but making it sound like they belong together, and so that beat didn't sound like the other tracks. Um, it still had this soulfulness to it, had this organic feeling, um, and then uh, and when I sent it to you, you had no bass line yet. Right. Um, it was before my man played bass on it. So this dude gets back and he's like, ah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. And it wasn't like what he said with um, the beat for th- Dirty Sneakers, because with Dirty Sneakers, he loved the beat, but he just wasn't sure what he was going to come with for the beat yet. But this joint, it was just like he he sounded like he wasn't interested. And that kind of hurt my feelings just a little bit. But again, remember, my my mindset was just like, I mean, he ain't got to. Cause I got yeah. some shit for this joint. When I when I said that, he was like, "I bet." Right. <laughs> I was like, "But oh, yo, wait, 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 wait. he got back it, real it, it quick." Made me think about it. And I was like, "Oh no, wait, wait a minute." Cause yeah. It sounded like a setup. Yeah. It sounded like you didn't want me to like it. <laughs> so I, I went back and listened again, and then I was like, "I nah, I think I could do something to it. Just holding up. Actually, yeah. It's gonna be great. Right. Just hold fast. Yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah, and yo, and trust, cause that joint definitely would have been on adulting, uh, if if he didn't. But I was, but it was based on the reason what made me make the beat. We had had conversations about like um the style of production mm-hmm. that people um have been digging of mine, and I was just like, yo, I want to make sure that there's something that's a bit more chill, mm-hmm. like to balance out some of these harder tracks Hard. that we got going yeah. on. Um, because that's kind of the vibe that like I'm associated with over the years. So it's like, even if I'm not rapping on it, if we kind of still capture this vibe, it'll feel like it belongs with everything else. You know exactly. what I mean? It's, it's branded. It's like right, it, right, right, right. Exactly. If, if, Snoop, if Snoop, you know, yeah, it's certain stuff that Snoop will rap over or won't rap over or it just feels like Snoop. So, yeah, you know, he, yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. Hey, John, thanks for tuning in, man. Um, so yeah, man. So uh, so so then he finally uh, was like, "Yo, all right, bet, um, yo, uh, we can, um, I'll use it." And then we start talking about what the song was going to be about. Um, and that's when you was uh, going leaning in the relationship route. Yeah. And so um, so I was like, "Bet," um, and then I was saying, I was like, "Yo, we should have like a vocalist singing on the hook." And um and then I told him I was like yo I got an idea for the chorus so the chorus that you hear on the song um I actually wrote and there's a version of me singing it not that great um but it, you know what I mean it was division so I sang it sent it to him he was just like yeah I mean you know it's cool and I was like yo just keep in mind I ain't the one gonna be singing it on the song this is just the idea and so you know but he felt where it was going right um and then we start talking about um I, I was talking to him about stephanie singing on the joint stephanie gale shout out to steph shout out steph yeah whoop, whoop. and um and then there was a, a like you know um i finally got the rough from steph like steph turned it around like uh pretty quick um and i sent it to him now typically with in some cases and this is something you'll learn as a person who makes music if you're a person just starting out is you got to know who you talking to and how their ear works. <laughs> and and initially when I sent it to him, the mistake I made was I sent him the rough. I told him it was a rough, but I just sent him the rough that she sent me, which was not mixed down. Um, before I put bells and whistles on it, before I kind of spread the vocals, push certain things back, put a little reverb here, accents, all of these little things that just make something that's already dope sound even doper. Yes. And so when he heard it, he was like, Hey, you you was right. You was absolutely <laughs> right. It's a, it sounds like a whole different song now. But but yeah. But initially his response was like, yeah, I don't know. He's like, maybe we'll, uh, maybe I can holler at my man and get him to say. I was just like, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, let me. I was like, send me some stuff with your man on it. And I heard his man. His man solid. But I was just like, hey, man, look, if your man can't turn it around in this period of time, we need to go with this Steph joint. Cause I'm telling you, this Steph joint gonna be magical. See, Dre, this is my proof. Right. It wasn't me. Right. Talk hey, to the CEO. I'm sorry, Dre. Talk I'm sorry, to the CEO, Dre. Man. Time constraints, brother. But even Dre said he was like, nah, that's <laughs> it. What the fuck you want me to do? That's what he said. He was like, what you want me to do with that? Wow. You, you, y'all good. Go ahead. Man. It's done. I was like, all right, my nigga, bless him. Right. Thank you. We out. <laughs> You know, <laughs> ain't too much fuss or fight with that. Right, right. Hey, what up, IQ, uh, IQ up in this joint? Shout out IQ. to him. 
Yeah, Please. man. So IQ? yeah. Hold up. So IQ, not not IQ from the DMV. This is my man, uh, Music IQ from okay. uh, he from Florida. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, he's actually uh, peace, Brooklyn peace, originally, IQ. and then uh, Florida. You okay, know what I mean? BK all day. Yeah, man, great dude, great dude. Eddie, Black what Bush, up, man? Black yeah, Bush. Steph, Steph is dope. Steph is dope. So yeah, so they so were dope. so just. Oh, I'm saying all that to say that. I mean, yo, look, the moment I heard his verses, I knew. I was like, yo, we got a winner. You know what I mean? Like, the beat was, like, I felt like was going to make for, like, it was one of those things that he already got the scale. So I'm like, I feel like I gave him a, a great, like, uh, canvas to work with. Mm -hmm. And then when he Agreed. got back with the lyrics, I was just like, hey, young, this going to be something special right here. And then, um, yeah, man. And then once the mix came together, you know, the missus gave me that look like, yo, that one right there. And I was like, I know, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, and so, yeah, because my wife don't like much, man. She was showing them press easy. So, like, yeah. yeah, but she she kept saying, she was like, I can hear this joint on the radio off the late night. I can hear this doing this. This could, it could be used for that. She was just, you know, like when people can put music in situations, when they can kind of hear it in situations, that's a great sign of a um a good piece of art, you know what I mean? And I, I think that's what me and Substantial do well in, in different versions, but definitely in the same vein. It's like make life music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh off work, dirty sneakers, um, you know, pennies to the penthouse, mm -hmm. their feelings, their vibes that we all pretty much can relate to. It's not like well, I'm talking about I'm super rich. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of just like the vibe, the feeling of where you at. And th thus, adulting. I'm pretty right, sure right. you're going you gonna to have people out there like, you know, it's cool to be responsible and take care of your kids and eat healthy and things like that. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. All the stuff that's supposed to be. That's some of what it's going to talk about. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there I will mean, be some triple X adulting going on I mean, as well. that's that's a part of adulting as well. Adulting. I don't know if, uh, how far I'm going to go with it. but Can't that leave that out. There's, you know, it's going to, I mean, it's going to be a lot of things. It's going to, those things, uh, a lot about what's happening right now, about, um, uh -huh. you know, uh, like possibly talking a bit about, depending on how far along I am and the other thing that I've been talking about doing. Right. Um, right. Like maybe some of that on there. And I'm um, definitely talking about the state of the world and what it looks like through an adult lens, right? Like, because we definitely have adult contemporary hip-hop, right? Like, where there are, like, um, grown men and women making, like, really powerful music talking about being, um, being, uh, you know, where they are in life, right? And, but hip-hop largely has always been, the, like, the voice of the youth. Yeah. So, like, regardless to how much music comes out, like, from the adult experience, um, most of what people think of when they think about hip hop is usually the experience um, of young men, not even young men and women. It's usually through the the lens of young men, yep. um, you know, or like or teenagers in some cases. Right. Like kind of talk about where they are in the world. So that's why, you know, um, I mean, as you see, unless unless some of those artists start out young and then blow up and then they're still getting like mainstream love. Um, a la, uh, whether you're talking about Ye, um, Jay-Z, Nas, mm -hmm. um, you know, for yeah. the most part, a good amount of them, like, have adult content, but, like, even their mainstream hits or whatever still very, it very rarely kind of walk the, the, uh, the grown folk joint with the exception of when Jay did the, the whole black album and how he did the change clothes and basically yeah. it was hip hop growing up in front of you. Cause Jay was an adult his whole time putting out music. He first album came out when he was like 26. Yeah, exactly. So, so it was a different, well, well hmm? I, I, you know, they say like men reach full maturity at like 40, mm -hmm. like 40, my right. G. Right. So 26, 41 is still, here. Right. Same here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, and, and even as we speak on that, I'm just now starting to come into certain things that I'm like, I ain't doing that no more. Right. Like, and I know, I know better. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, 26, you still kind of, you still kind of, you know what I'm saying? Finding your kinda way reckless. in the world. Yeah, it's still a little reckless too. Yeah, it's yeah. certain things. You might still have both of your parents. So, you know, you still got mm -hmm. a lot to lean on. You know, right. you, you still might be looked at as a child by your parents, even though right. you got certain X, Y, and Z, you know. Mm -hmm. A couple people might have houses at 26. Did right. you have a house at 26? Negatory. I didn't. 
I don't know too many of my friends who late had a house 20s. in 26. I think I was late 20s. Yeah. Late 20s. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, that's kind of. Yeah, I mean, you know, we all right. But yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I get you through yeah. the lens of, kind, you know, young men. Right. Nah, that's real. That's real. But yeah, man. Um, so we're almost out of time and stuff. Uh, we're definitely okay. gonna wrap it. If y'all got uh questions, please throw them in the um the chat. I just want to um remind you all. I'm gonna give you this link real quick. Hold on. Uh, type that in. Go go gadget. Boom. There you go. But yeah, let me um give y'all this link once again. Just a quick reminder that the deluxe edition version of Dirty Sneakers is available now on Bandcamp. Out right now. It's on. Uh, Go it's, get it. It's Bandcamp Friday, so this is the day that you support artists on Bandcamp and a. Uh, and the majority of those proceeds go to the artists themselves. Bandcamp does not take a cut, um, and it's only on the first of the month. Also, um, I almost forgot to remind y'all, too, if you didn't know, Bob Alloy, um, our first album, the vinyl, is still available mm -hmm. um, for pre-order. Um, it's going to ship next month, so I'll throw that link in here, too. This is a great day to buy it because, again, 100% of those proceeds go to us, go to the artists. Shout out to my brother Marcus D. Um, but, yeah, man. Also, remember, Relaced is out. That's the uh, the remixes from the project. Um, but I'm going to switch it up. I think this is uh, a, let's, what was it? Uh, I feel like this might be an interesting question, right? Like, uh, well, not, not super interesting. It's just talking rap stuff. But um, what was it? I'm going to give you my favorite line from you on Dirty Sneakers. Okay. I only got one verse on the, the original joint, but you can pick from either Relaced or the original. Um, your fa uh, favorite line from me. You know what I mean? Okay. And we could talk about why, and then we'll wrap it up on that note. Okay. All right? So I had a long conversation with him the other day about uh, my favorite line of his, which I still say he needs to put on a T-shirt. <laughs> um, And it's uh, from the opening song, My Soul. It's in his second verse, uh, which is the first verse on the remix version. Um, But where he says, I know I'm built for this shit, just don't know what they'll make of me. That line, like, yo, the moment, like, the song was the song was already dope, but that line for me was just like, and this is, like, my favorite shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, Thank I you, feel Thank like, you. yeah, man, nah, it's such a great line because as I was telling him, it's a line that it, it's a great example of complex uh, simplicity. Um, like, it sounds like just a regular line on the surface, right? But then, you know, making the play off of um, built for this, don't know what they'll make of me. You know what I mean? Like and like, you know, playing off of that. But but more importantly, like the 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 different meanings that could be pulled from that. And for me, um, you know, like the project is about struggle, as we were saying. And I feel like, you know, Definitely. a lot of a lot of people like um, no matter what. Like, no matter what your skin color is, there's a ridiculous amount of people who know what struggle is. Um, but as black men, you know what I mean? As black people, like, you know, there's a particular struggle that we go through that, like, you know, um, so when I hear that line, I know one built for this, right? Like, and what that part of it means, like, I think of our ancestors and how they, su uh, how they survived crazy things that we'll never you know, God willing, knock on wood, yeah. that we'll never yeah. have to experience ourselves. And they survived that um, in order for us to be here. So when I think of that, I know I'm built for this. I'm built for this struggle. I Like, my people historically have been able to survive, like, this struggle, these crazy circumstances. But regardless to being able to do that, I don't still don't know what the world will make of me. Regardless the like, how built for this and how ready for all of this I am, I still cannot control how the world perceives me. You know what I mean? No matter how much I stand tall, no matter how many good things I do, no matter how yep. great a father we are, yep. no matter um, like how many times our women step up and lead the charge, to, to, you know, whether it's to change laws, whether it's to uh, be the leader of the family when, men's are uh, when men are taken from the homes, no matter what we do, it's like it's never enough. And so that line, as simple as it sounds or whatever, like I feel like it's an amazing line because that's where it took me. Um, and so that's my favorite line uh, from you. And the funny thing is when you pull a favorite line for me, 
It's probably not going to be that deep because of my first point of joy. <laughs> but, you know what I mean? But, yeah, man, that's definitely, that was that was the joint for me. Um, Yeah, yeah. It's going to be the total opposite. Exactly. <laughs> right. Um, It's the joint when you was like, um, and you know it because we talked about it, and then you let me know the the triple entendre that was in the line. Oh, yeah. Um, when it was like uh, the Jack offer, I'm never known for entertaining a whack offer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, uh, how, uh, how it go? How, how a, exactly start? All you know is the beat professional Jack offer. I'm never known for entertaining a whack offer. Right. Yeah. So how I took that is like, all you know is the beat. What is it? Beat profe- be no, professional? All you know is the beat professional jack office so when i say all you know is the beat i'm talking about like people who listen to rap music but they was like oh you know i, re- I don't really listen to the words i just like it for the beat you know what i mean and okay. so so but like beat like the the music but also like beat as in you know beat you, you know and so all you know is the beat professional jack offer <laughs> right Okay. And then it's like, but I'm never known for entertaining a whack offer, so right? And then I, whack off. So you know what, what I thought Back that it meant, because we had a conversation about this. I'm thinking it's like, all you know is how to be professional, you jack offer. Like, mm-hmm. so so I'm, I'm thinking like, you just being professional. You don't even know how to be yourself. Mm. You don't know how to let you cool down. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I'm never known for entertain, entertaining a whack, a whack off. offer like... Right. Uh, 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 offer like what you coming me with this like right, this you, what right. you think I'm worth nah I'm definitely turning that down mm-hmm. but what you're saying is all I know is the all you know is the beat professional but beat professional like a jack offer right right jacking off right <laughs> I'm never known for entertaining a whack offer right but I think that was a double entendre there, yeah right? yeah yeah a whack offer or a whack offer. Right, so that, right. that's when I was like, "Oh, right, just boom, boom, because it's like professional everywhere. jack offer." Then I'm never known for entertaining a whack offer, a, a whack deal, or like, you know, hey, it's yeah. like you know, you clearly ski just quarters. right. <laughs> <laughs> change gonna come. Change like I gonna skeet coders. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my wife who literally I call back to the studio almost every other time I come over the double line. Like, baby, <laughs> baby, come here, come here, hey, baby, baby, come here, come here. You know what I mean? Like, but yeah, man. But hey, we gotta go. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, man. I hope y'all enjoyed Appreciate the show. Y'all, man. Appreciate um, we y'all. uh we definitely uh had a good time and stuff. Um, you know, we have not really been able to kick it like this because of what's going on with the pandemic. Definitely. Um this in fact, uh today was sponsored by Lysol and yep. uh N95 mask. Um, you know what I'm saying? As um, soon as we cut the cameras off, we're going right, to open but, on hazmat suits. Yeah. And um, you know, straight like that. The disinfecting process and straight like that. Make sure everybody's staying safe and social distancing on in, in all For sure. in all reality though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Stay man. safe. We love y'all. Thanks for Appreciate joining y'all. us. And um we out. Go cop that dirty sneakers. Yes, Deluxe indeed. Yes, indeed. Released. All right. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.